Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today we are going to make an apron with pockets. An apron with pockets is a fun thing to have because you can use it as a craft apron, you can use it as a gardening apron, or you can use it for a child who likes a lot of pockets. So what we're going to need is a very small amount of fabric and the first thing will be the body of the apron. The main part of the apron is nine and a half by 16 and what I've done is I've just taken an extra piece of fabric of the same size and I've just stitched it really close to the edge so that both sides of the apron are going to look nice. The next thing you're going to need is a longer piece of fabric because this is going to make the pockets and it is going to be seven inches by 20 inches. Some strips of fabric for the ties and a little strip of fabric for some binding. A marking pencil is really good for this so that you can mark your pockets. So the thread I'm going to use is from Superior University. It's called So Fine and it's a polyester thread. And what I like about the thread is it has a beautiful color to it. The colors are very vibrant and I want the stitching to show. But the other thing is being that it's polyester, it's a very strong thread. So it will sew very, very well on the denim. So let's get started by making the pockets of the apron. So the first thing to do is to mark straight lines as to where you would like your pockets and the size of your pockets. The smaller pockets are going to remain flat. The larger pockets are going to have a little bit of a pleat in it. So it gives room to put something in here. So you can just mark a couple of pockets in any size that you want. So what I have here in sizes, three inches, two and a quarter, two inches, one and a quarter, two and a half, one and a quarter, two, two and a half, three, and whatever your little leftover is, which will work out to be about one inch. And just take and mark straight lines. And those are going to be sewing lines. The next thing we need to do is finish the top of this little apron pocket so that it'll look nice. Now you can just turn it and do a top stitch if you'd like, but I'm just going to use a little piece of this binding. Now to do that I have taken this piece and it's two inches, folded in half and pressed. And I'm going to put the raw edges together so a quarter inch all the way around and then you're going to be able to take this and fold it over to the back and stitch in the ditch and put that down and that'll give a nice finish. So the binding is on and it was just top stitched on the back right along the edge to hold it there. Now if you wanted to you could just do some decorative stitching here and you could make it very personal. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to attach the pockets onto the back of the apron. And the first two pockets on either side are not going to have any pleats in them. So what you can do is line it up to the edge of the fabric so the raw edges are together and just go at a quarter inch and just secure this on to the edge. And then you will be able to just top stitch along your first drawn line and do a back stitch here. And do the same thing for this side. Just sew along the edge to hold this on and top stitch on this first line, back stitching here. And that's going to hold the body of the apron together. So the pocket has been sewn on and now it is secure. The next thing we need to do is just evenly distribute these pockets in between our marks. Now the larger pockets you can take in a half inch to an inch and I just recommend that you just pull it over until you find a size that you like. You can even test it with the tool or something that you have in mind that you want to go in the pocket. Once you have the, the size that you want, just pin right where the sewing line is going to be, keeping it straight. Then you're able to go and do the next one. Again, just pleat the pocket 
to a size, again, that you think you're going to want. Keeping your raw edges together, you will pin again. And you will go along and you will do all pockets this way until you get the size that you like. Now you can test and see the size that you are going to want. And if it's not the right size, and this is the time to adjust the different sizes. So now that you've tested all the pockets and you know they're the size that you're going to want, we need to pleat the bottom. By pleating the bottom, you can just bring the fabric up to the center and then when you push down you will make a little pleat and just pin that pleat down and do this for all of your pockets. Now that all the pockets are pinned and the pleats are pinned down to the sizes that you want you will take this to the machine and you are going to just do a row of stitching right along the bottom and do as close as you can to the edge and this is just going to secure it to the bottom. The next thing is you are going to top stitch along your drawn lines and back stitch at the top for added strength. So all the pockets are sewn on, we have it all top stitched down and it's good to go. Now we need to take the binding just as we did the top and put it around the three sides. We won't need it at the top because the top will be the tie. So again, as before, you take your two inch piece of fabric, fold it in half, stitch it all the way around, fold it to the back, and top stitch it. So the binding has been put on and I've just stitched it by machine all the way along the edge. And now the body of the apron is done. We need to do the ties. Take two pieces of fabric, 3 inches by 45 inches and sew two of the edges together so that you have one long piece. Once the strip is all in one piece, take it to the iron and iron it right in half and do the whole strip. So your strip has been ironed in half with the right sides out. Find the center of the apron with the center of the strip. Open up the strip so you're only going to sew on one layer of the fabric. So the strap has been sewn on. Now we need to sew the ends together. And to sew the ends together, just snip the fabric right to that seam line. And you are going to snip that right on both sides. So by folding the ties in half, and starting right where you clipped. Sew all the way down and just square off the corner and clip those edges. And do that for this side and this side. And then you will have this little opening here and that will give you a chance to pull these all the way through to the right side and press the ties flat. And by pressing it first in half, it already gives us a nice mark and it will press a lot easier. So press both ends of the ties. Now to finish off the back of the apron where the tie was sewn onto the body of the apron, you need to press down a quarter of an inch from this top seam. And then when it is folded down, you are going to be able to top stitch or hand stitch all the way down and close that off. So the apron is done and it looks nice on both sides. You can embroider something here, even a name. But the apron is done and has all of these pockets. What's nice about this is you can customize the pockets to fit what you would like. So we have a quick and easy little craft apron. This is a perfect size for a child or you can use it yourself for your tools in your sewing room. Either way, it's a fun and quick project to make. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.